All right, so uh, as promised, here we are at the Atomaton Tower. Um, just going to continue the series. Uh, if it does start to drop off pretty drastically, we'll uh, we'll do something with that. But again, we're going to go with the same team. Um, and we're just going to auto it. Hopefully, we get a lot more. Uh, let's go look at the devices we're, we're waiting for here. Um, yeah, none of these none of these are for my units, so they're not very fun. Uh, Let's see. Increases attack of thieves. This one's pretty decent. Some of these do change, though, the regular ones. Front row, device, device, sergeant. Yeah, provokes. Oh, this one's perfect. Uh, we're going to go with this one. Because we got to get that. we got to get three levels on that. It's going to take a while. So, uh, Not to mention, the sooner we get everyone funneling into Violet, the better. And this team, there's lots of variations of this team. Like everything, you can kind of just change all this stuff up. Um, what's his name? Arbiter and um, Landy are just here to speed the process up. Uh, and obviously, uh, what's her name? Uh, Tamarin barely does anything for most of the match anyway, right? Um, let's see, dark, light, uh, not this one. A chance of evasion. We'll just take this one. 20% pen on like everything we do is pretty good. Uh, but this team is actually, you know, it's not that hard to like do something else. You can run like an SSB here uh, or, you know, RAM or just, you know, general, you know, whoever you have that's AOE. Like uh, sometimes I'll bring in, um, what's her name? Fire Mercedes just for fun because she's, she's a fun unit and uh, she's got a lot of counter attacks, right? And mine's on counter set, so like, you know, she does all kinds of stuff. Um, yeah, so like any, like any, I mean, if you're, if you want to be totally honest, Fire Mercedes is basically just like Arbor Vildred, but weaker. Um, they got the cleave attacks, the AOE, and all that stuff, and she gives out attack buff, which is good because Tamarin doesn't do anything until later. Warrior, uh, Mage, and Mage. Uh, increases damage dealt. Critical hit chance of Mage. We're just gonna take this one just because it's more rare. I don't foresee myself. This is a point that I make where like. If I start picking up a lot more um, fire artifacts, or yeah, uh, mage artifacts, sometimes I'll switch out characters because it's like, okay, Arby's better than, than, um, Arby's better than Mercedes, granted, but uh, Mercedes has more artifacts boosting her up, right? So, or devices, I guess they're called devices, I don't know. Play too much Genshin right now, um, everything's an artifact. All I need now is the true damage based on attack percentage. Like whenever you single target, does splash damage, and that's a, that'll be it. And there we go, done. <laughs> okay, damage stacking. These two are pretty good. I like these two, but. We'll get this 20% going now. Um, until, so when that artifact, when that device comes out that makes single target do uh, splash damage, I'll keep uh, Arby back here. But once once I get that splash damage one, I'm going to put Lanny back there so that she can do splash damage on her S1. And I got crit on fire, nice. These are all healers, this is kind of weird. Now, the least healing one is Gaider Aether, but Gaider Aether has healing on there. Deed. What's that attack buff? I have no idea how these mechanics work. Oh man, I was so close to killing her too. The her heal. Okay. Uh, let's see what we have here. Ugh, garbage. Um. Oh, again, we'll just go with the Alencia one.
And then now it's everyone's turn. Oh my gosh. Sometimes he doesn't dodge and that happens. That's fine. There we go, there's a counter. Nice, we're getting a lot of good uh, RNG here. Clearing these first waves out pretty fast. Perfect. Uh, let's see, front row, hey look, we got this back. Special nail, no, no, we don't want the nail. This one's pretty decent too, but I'd prefer to take this one. Doubling up on the damage, I'm like the true damage I'm dealing whenever they hit me or whenever they hit Violet. <laughs> Ow. There we go. Yeah, they're all taking about 8k. They like reduce your lifesteal healing pretty drastically. It's kind of funny. I was, I, I feel like I remember that always being there, but I'm not entirely sure. I can't, I can't be too sure about it. Uh, sadly, the um, gold transmit stones I'm going to get out of this are not going to go towards uh, summon. Uh, so if anyone is waiting for that, uh, keep that in mind. We'll, we'll take that. I guess I don't know. Really, I'm not using waters or fires. Again, like that fire one, maybe I could have taken that fire one and then just been like, okay, at some point I'm going to replace RB with Mercedes. Because Arby's good, like, in PvP, because PvP, like, is immediate, right? It's decided in the first few turns. But for longer drawn-out fights, Arby's not that good. Mercedes, however, is a little better, just because you can build her tankier. Now, oh, you can build a counter Arby, that's up to you, right? But that's not how my, my Arby is built. Uh, but the point being that, yeah, like, uh, building like a tankier, like counter set Mercedes, which is what a lot of people are running. Not everyone, most some people are running speed again just to like get the same effect of like, okay, I killed her, but now it's her turn anyway. She's an S3, right? Um, it's just up to you, but like, I like having her tankier. I like seeing her take like three turns. Like, someone hits her, she procs the. Uh, her own counter, and then she procs the the magic for friends, and it's just like insane. It's so much fun. So mage, damage dealt, and critical hit chance. Every two turns. This actually looks kind of interesting. Um, I might bring uh, Belly in, in here at some point. Nice. Oh, I'm not getting attack buff because I buff block. That's sad. Um. Here we go. Yep, perfect. This one. I really think I should probably take this one, but. Um, this one, I have to get two of these. This, I have to get two of these as well, but... Uh, it'd be better to have this now. So I'm going to put you up here. And we're going to... Depending on what, what kind of devices we get, we'll see about sw swapping out Arby. It's kind of hilarious that like they don't have to resist this opening um, 
this opening uh, taunt, they don't have to resist it at all. Like it's just it's just on them, and that's the wrong person to be attacking. There we go. There we go, we, we finally hit uh, that violet there. Look at that, beautiful. So much free damage. Awesome. Oh, he didn't die. I'm trying to get rid of the uh, the DJ Basar first. I, I might get rid of Arby. Sometimes what I do is like I'll get rid of Arby or, or whoever if they die, so I don't have to spend the stigma. So if he dies, then yeah, I'll probably just replace him. Nothing else is. Uh, yeah, we'll just take this. I think tomorrow or the day after, I might um, do some uh, RTA stuff. But I'm not sure. I'm still like thinking about it. I just like I really don't like playing RTA. It's so annoying. It's like either you're just stomping on people until you get to champion, and then once you get to champion, it's just like really annoying. And then like it's kind of hard to be motivated to get further out of champion because you're not gonna make it into legend or anything like that. Um, but it's fine. Like we'll climb and, and see what we get. Um, special nail, first attack, no, we'll never take that one. Uh, I like this one. Attack, and then, uh, max HP of these people. Let's do it. Attack is good, we get more, um... Yeah, we get more true damage out of the single targets. Like, right now. Did 16k, 8k from the attack, and then another 8k from the health, the health thing. Yeah. And they're dead. Yep. Perfect. Uh, critical hit chance, critical hit damage, probably gonna take that one. Critical hit chance, critical hit damage. Maybe this one. Um I have two I have two grasses, so we're just gonna take both. I'm gonna go with them. Freaking grass units. We got two broccoli units. Look, it's the broccoli. Oh my gosh, she didn't dodge either of those. It's so, it's so weird listening to like some of the sound effects in this game, because like, I always play this muted, like I never listen to what sound is going on, and um, yeah, damage dealt and crit chance. I kind of like this one. Yeah. Uh, she needs a little bit of help cleansing and uh, throwing that on there wouldn't be too bad. Not that like, not that we're very debuff like heavy here uh, in this, but you know, still. Oh, 
Oh my gosh. He hasn't dodged either of them. Thank you. Finally dodged one. Oh my gosh. 30k for free. Wow, they took away my sleep for a stun. That's that's that was evil. Uh, here in the back row, perfect. We're taking this one. Yeah, I really feel like I want to trade Arby for Belly, and I might do that just for fun. Oh, this is bad. Um, we have to. I'm gonna target the healer first. There we go. Fortunately, our team has a decent amount of single target as well as AoE. It's not just all AoE. I think if they want to fix um, Crow, not that he's necessarily broken or anything, like like in terms of like that he doesn't work, but he's certainly like a lot more useless these days. I, I mentioned earlier that uh, one thing they could do is like um, give him a cleanse on the S3 when he puts up the immunity, uh, which it doesn't have to necessarily be that, or just make it so that like I think maybe drop it, drop the um, cooldown by one turn. I think that would make him a lot more consistent and more useful these days, but I don't know. Um, like I said, he doesn't necessarily need a buff, but he's certainly like not as useful as he used to be anymore. Uh, we have Rem and uh, Rem and Belion, and those are two units that, like, theoretically, he should be good against, but he's not. Um, so, you know, like they made him to counter SSB and certain other AOE users. And they brought in Bellion and um, Rem, and they were like, alright, how do we make this guy counter the guy that's supposed to counter them? And you're just like, well, I guess thanks, right? <laughs> um, let's go with uh, Bologna. Why not? Oof, we're, we're pretty jacked up after that fight. Let's see if he survives. 600. Come on, Tamarin, heal! Oh my gosh, these counters are insane. 24. There we go. Now we're all back at full strength. Not too shabby. going on here. Oh, I thought he was going to summon more guys. I was like, that's going to suck. And there we go. Um, ooh, this is very interesting. Uh, the nail one is back, but this one is what we want. Unfortunately for now, we're taking that. Get folded. Let's see.
<laughs> yeah, all these sound effects sound so weird. Like there's like there's just like also certain things you didn't know had sound effects associated with them. And you're like, oh yeah, that's kind of weird. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Fifty percent chance to burn. Uh, I'm just gonna go with this one in case we ever decide to bring in um, Mercedes. Twelve, almost thirteen. Probably one of the harder ones just because they're all fire, but we, we landed like crits on everybody constantly, so I didn't go too bad. Yeah, I think Landy's doing as much damage as RB is naturally, which is kind of weird. Damage dealt and critical hit chance. Uh, warriors, focus, whatever. I kind of want this one. I kind of like this one too. For right now, that one benefits both RB and uh, Violet, so we're going with that one. Seventeen, almost eighteen. Just like keeping track of like kind of numbers, how they work comparatively here. Okay, that doesn't do anything. That didn't mean anything either. So we had seventeen, almost eighteen there. Okay, so that gave Arby a pretty huge boost over Landy. I think in the last video, it's kind of interesting to see just because, like, uh, Violet kind of soloed <laughs> the final boss just because he's that good. It's pretty crazy. Pretty crazy indeed. And he's dead. They're both dead. Yep, there we go. Perfect. Um, counterattack. I like this one. Okay, it can be triggered. Yeah, so it's this one. Oh, uh, we have to get rid of this guy back here. Come on. There we go. Violet forgot to dodge there. Not that that was a very deadly attack, so it didn't really matter, but still. I do not approve. We also have that like single target that could be decent to put here. Oh, I guess I could put. No, actually, yeah, that'd be pretty amazing. I might, I might try that actually. Um, if RB dies or something, I might put like Hua Young down there and just have her like spreading uh, AOE, like huge AOE dumps of attack. But I don't know. And here goes RB doing his RB thing.
Ooh, here we go. Oh, wait. What was that? I have no idea. Is, uh... Oh, I forgot that. I think he's gonna have, um... Immortality. Which is gonna suck. There we go. Yep. Oh, hopefully he doesn't kill. He doesn't kill him. Oh, he missed. Uh, still gonna do a chunk. Yep, some serious damage. Have him heal off of this. <laughs> Seventeen is not bad, but yeah, we're losing. I think we're. I think wait. I think it only works on your own turn or something like that. I don't remember. Yeah, there we go. See the nail came back. Now they've all got nails. Uh, let's go. They got more nails than Guru. The Super Kami Guru. <laughs> Damn, thirty-three k. Come on. Please counter once. Violet needs healing. Oh my gosh, please counter. Do they have some sort of like anti evasion thing? Because that was a lot of hits for him to have not dodged. Okay, I guess we're back in business. We're back in the land that makes sense. I should probably be looking at the monster devices, but you can, I mean, you can't really play around them. You can't do anything about them. Special mail, nobody cares. Oh, we'll do that one. Yeah. The nail is a very low chance considering they all start off with a nail, so it's like, hey, whatever. A two turn nail, no less. Perfect. If only it came with like a, gra a gab or something, right? But it's alright. The entire time she's boosted by 50% crit damage is pretty crazy. Um, given how active she's going to be there in the whole fight. Floor, we're 22, we're almost done. Um, water. Oh, these are these are all horrible. Um, we're just gonna go with that. Two molas. Oh, I forgot to get my my weak molas. I actually don't have anyone to mola right now. Like I'm just hoarding them up for no reason. I mean, there's a reason, but like you know what I mean. Like they're just not. There's no unit I need to boost. Is this gonna kill him? It might, I don't know. They give you like weird sets in those little boxes. Like no one uses a revenge set. I'm not really sure who would use it. 
maybe if you just happen to find like over the course of time like a decent revenge set you could use it over like a speed set until we're like uh like the person i was kind of thinking the most who would be able to use a speed set uh, a revenge set would be something like alencia because what's what revenge set does is it gives you a slight speed boost uh, all the time but as your hp goes down you get more speed right um, so you technically you you know supposedly you're gonna cycle faster with that speed, and Alencia is pretty good for that because you don't want her to go first. But as her HP drops, like basically it's just a first turn thing, right? It's like I want this unit to be fast and take a lot of turns, but I don't want them to take first turn. And Alencia is a good example of that. Now Alencia is not a speed contester; she's not out there fighting for first turn against everybody. Uh, but if you're kind of going like tank on tank or something like that, and and none of you are are like trying to contest for speed necessarily. In those scenarios, oftentimes you build her with too much speed and she ends up going first. And then it's like, okay, well, that was kind of a waste. Um, and But if she had a revenge set, in that scenario, she would have, you know, they would have gone, put their buffs up, then she would have stripped. Um, and then as her HP got down, she would have gone faster and faster. And then, you know, more strips and more S1s and just been an overall nuisance, right? Um, but yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking, like who might be able to use that but even that's kind of like tenuous at best considering it's still not very good uh which one about this one oh this is the last one wow this one by pretty fast um let's just see what happens we're probably gonna lose rb because he's uh he's very low hp but come on there we go Yeah, there's not really a whole lot to say. <laughs> um, so in the future, probably, uh, if this series of, like, Automaton Tower videos is going to continue, it'll probably just be, like, live streams in case, like, anyone wants to interact uh, and just have something to do other than just sitting here and staring at an auto thing. Because, I mean, like, ideally the point being is that, like, get an insight into, like, the thought process of... Hopefully that airplane's not getting picked up too, too heavily, but... The idea is, like, get some insight into the thought process of, like, choosing devices and all that stuff as you're going through uh oh well, she can counterattack on herself that's kind of weird because it's not like Elbrus. Elbrus doesn't let you counterattack it doesn't include yourself in the counterattack chance but that device apparently did that's kind of weird oh what was it saying yeah this might be better suited to like uh what's the word uh like a live stream where it's like kind of just like have something to interact with or if any, answering any questions anyone has um, but like I said I did think it was kind of valuable to like just to see the thought process behind choosing certain devices and what devices to stay away from uh, for anyone who's uh, on the newer side okay so Arby's down oh my gosh Arby's got like 20,000 turns Ooh, I actually might lose Violet here. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that. Wow, it just dumped me out of the thingy. Okay, so what are we gonna do now? Um, we lost... We lost with Violet. Yeah, we lost with Violet. So that's a, that's a decent trick. If you just die... If you just quit, you can just start over again. Uh, so we lost the violet, but who else can we put here? I guess a fire unit would be good, considering we do need to get rid of uh, we need to get rid of the healer sooner rather than later. Um, so I'm gonna be right back. I have to go regear my uh, <laughs> my Mercedes real quick. Okay. Let's see what Mercedes can do for us today. Um, yeah, Arby's not first anymore, which is kind of interesting. OK, 
Okay. Yeah, so fortunately, Rana does not work the same way um, she does in PvP. It's just like, I think she heals once per turn or something like that. Once every two turns, something like that. Which is good. She has a 50% chance to like, take another turn. It feels like we're doing better so far, but I'm, I can't really tell. This uh, robot lady over here is, it gets on my nerves. She does a lot of damage. Oof, she didn't heal herself. Oh my gosh, and uh, Mercedes' defense broken. It's a lot of damage. So yeah, see, she counters. It's kind of weird. Let's get everybody boosted up forward here. I might have to do some soul burns here and there. Um. That might have been like a, a waste, but you know. Better to be safe than sorry in this situation. I don't want to have to do this again. Ah, I forgot to target her. That damage wasted on the wrong unit. Yeah, we don't even do enough damage to break this barrier. That's embarrassing. Yeah, so like RB is good for clearing like mobs and stuff, but like you kind of want something a little more, someone with a little more longevity uh, when you start getting to the later waves. Uh, Mercedes doesn't necessarily offer that, but you know, it's better than nothing. <laughs> she doesn't get one shot by like half the half the things, right? And this lady's doing her thing. They're like me, they take all the turns in the world and it's irritating to be on the receiving end of it. Come on, die. Rowan is almost dead. Ugh. Okay, so that AoE and then, oh, this is gonna kill us. Uh, this is pretty bad. We're about to lose our healer. But they're about to lose their... Uh... Oh, we're not, she's not dead yet. Let's see if we can soul burn something. Soul burn something useful here. Let's do this real quick, why not? Free damage. 21 plus... 27. Okay, cool. So, yeah, Mercedes is also doing, it feels like she's doing quite a bit more damage than, like, what Arby was doing at the time. And we just leave it like this. I think it should be fine. There we go. Yeah, this, this top one right here ends up dictating a lot of, like, um, how it goes, right? The, 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 the last three are kind of, like, it can go easier or it can go slightly harder, but not impossible, right? Uh, the fact that he, she was fire is kind of what made it harder because she, she killed Landy really quickly. And she does a decent amount of damage to um, Violet, even through, like, dodging and all that stuff, right? It also gets really annoying having to deal with this when, like, the healer is Tamarin or, like, uh, what's her name? The other one. Uh, 
I forgot what her name was. The little fire one. Uh, Acades. When it's Acades or something like that. I, I don't know. It's, has Acades been there? Maybe I'm just crazy. I think Tamarin for sure has been there. So, like, when the healer is a fire unit, it's annoying too because, like, half your damage isn't doing anything to that unit. Um, but yeah, so, like, that last one can be, like, where, you know, the majority of the stuff is. Um, but, yeah, until uh, till next time, hopefully. Um, I know it's not the most riveting con content, uh, but um, I'll have to rethink what I'm going to do with this series later. Um, this might be the, the last one I make in the uh, in this series until I start live streaming them. Um, but, yeah, until then, I'll see you guys around.